Imagine all the paps. Yeah. Silvery sir, Silvery sir. Yeah, yeah, all right. Silvery sir will be down south. Yeah, in Mumbai, you don't know what they did now when those all those famous stars came to the launch. Hey, Silvery, sir, sir. What is it? As Bhavi ji nahi hai. Is it a pet name? Of what? For Nimrat, what, what what do they call you? The Punjabis always have a nice pet name. Come yeah, on, that is correct. Name. I want I want a lovely, yeah. I want a dolly, I want something. Huh. Okay, okay then. Yes. It's Mithunda called me for an audition. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I am not a disco dancer. Went bad from there. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's a superstar there. Huh? He's, he's got hotels yeah. and this and that. Who's half of? Place, I, I, I didn't know that it was such a big revelation to me the one and one hotel they told me that ye wala table dekhiye ye unhone us time pe 4 lakh ka khareeda tha aur abhi iska value batao and i said are i don't know what do i do what is it pata nahi some like we could have just lag out now Man and this is why priyanka chopra doesn't talk to you ha <laughs> <laughs> so what's your what's your hello in the west in new york whatever hi how are you you're flirting <laughs> <laughs> i mean what if it, if it was me you never say hello like that <laughs> What is this? A, a poor Lebanese I cab driver. Oh God! If you start like that, the guy is like, "Madam, Cyrus, <laughs> you'll have me trolled." Oh, I said, "Hello." I As swear. Play it again. Yeah. Play so again. that's West Coast. For that's you. West Coast, is it? How are you? Oh, how are you? And East Coast? <laughs> Punjabi again? The dogs. वहाँ पे जुगना लगान देना पड़ता है. अच्छा. ऐसी बात है. It's four crores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called? The show. Cyrus says and. Like that's pretty bad acting uh, from my part. But every time I pretend I don't remember the name of the show. But I feel the, I feel the show's name should change after a few. You know, the people get bored of the same name. Yeah, that's true. People change their own yeah, name all the time uh, nowadays, right? Not, and not just for luck. I just I get bored. I want to be called something else myself. But let me introduce you formally for a second. Otherwise, they'll shout at me later. Okay. We have with us a beautiful. Talented superstar Nimrat Kaur, who's not only big here but also was part of. A, why are you clapping silently in the I, background? I, like an idiot I, distracting I, I, me. He's I'm like we're doing fan. some dumb college play. Mm. He never mm. said this to me, yeah, when we yeah. met. No, he's a, he, he's a huge fan. Really? That, that's true. He's, For real? Yeah, yeah. Listen, okay, you're, get awkward, you know you're very famous and popular. Yeah. All the people you have depends on the room. I'm happy to be in this room yeah. right now. Well, For sure. That sounds that's wrong nice. to say, but anyway, <laughs> uh, no, no. So my, in fact, our proprietor and leader, CEO and uh, supreme leader, who never comes on Saturday. The moment he knew you were on the show, <laughs> he's left Malabar Hill. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's on his way here. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. What but a privilege! I wouldn't say wow, but yeah, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect too much, uh, Nimrat. I mean, you outside. hyped it. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm so, so sorry. Well, I was in the middle of trying to give a description. I've got ADD. It'll all you know all right. from segue all the time. <laughs> all right. Uh, Nimrat Kaur, a fantastic actress. I, that should come first. Super talent, and then everything else. Uh, we'll discuss hopefully in the time we have everything. I'm very excited to talk about uh, Homeland. <laughs> Um, yeah, and all that, but we're here first to talk about the breaking new show on Disney Hotstar. Disney yeah. Plus Hotstar, yes. Disney Plus Hotstar. Slap. Yeah, I've, it's been drilled into my head. I, I know, can't I help know. it. She's so. sitting right there. <laughs> staring at us. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. You, I know. Maybe she's. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> What have you done with the body, guys? <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so let's start at the top there. So yeah. this is a, a drop. What's it called first? It's called School of Lies. School of Lies. Yeah. And it's a. Drama, kidnapping, drama, so. thriller, um, a mystery, mm. uh, the backdrop with the backdrop of a boarding school, and it's nothing like you've ever seen before. Just of course. Interject uh, quickly. Firstly, can I call? Is there a pet name? <laughs> of what? For Nimrat, what, what what do they call you? The Punjabis always have a nice pet name. Come yeah, on, that is correct. I want I want a lovely. Yeah. I want a dolly. I want something. <sighs> okay then, okay. Yeah. it's Nimbu. Nimbo. <laughs> no. uh, I regretted it the second I said it. <laughs> as a pure Punjabi, what's yes, your yes. what's your opinion? Uh, that's a very good one. Yeah. You're, yeah. A, very you're a pure Punjabi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How is your name Antariksh? It's my N- pet name is Rishi. Sil- no, it's Silvery. <laughs> We've rechristened him. Huh. No, we don't want to tell yeah. the whole story. Okay, okay, okay. Silvery. Yeah. <laughs> Nimbo. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'll be Pani. So we all. all oh together. no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the standard. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Back, back to uh, School of Lies. Yes. Yeah. So. I, and the character the character so i am playing a character called nandita varma mm-hmm. and she's a school counselor so she's a student counselor and uh, she kind of like has a fairly difficult past of her own and look it's a very i know the vibe of your show is like absolutely not the vibe of my show no 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 this is but, all of us can do your shows to, yeah. so please you do your thing you don't have to worry about the vibe but i am a classical idiot he is distracted all the time but we have to present the show we want people to go and see it yeah so basically look so the show basically deals with 
uh, a very grim situation at hand, which we come upon fairly quickly. And then you realize that how as you kind of unravel the mystery of what's going on in the school, mm. you also go back into, um, you know, the lives of the adults dealing with that issue there at hand. Can we, Whether it's the can headmaster or... What, that first incident, is that allowed? I, I don't know, huh? Oh. Because the show is streaming now. Okay. But for the uninitiated and people who haven't, I don't want to give out spo spoilers. Fair enough. You know what I'm I, saying? I'll say like, this much. I'll say this much. When I was growing up, uh, this is, uh, I think Nimbu, you won't understand the time because it was even before your time. <laughs> uh, we used to just take the school bus, for example. Yeah. And we there, we have five, six school buses in the whole South Bombay area. Yeah. We could take anyone, even though we were registered on one. Nobody cared. Yeah. There was no parents being in touch, nothing right. like that. So there was no fear factor. Yeah, yeah. Like, all across India, people, the kids would just catch buses buses, go with whoever to okay. school or whatever. But I think in the last 10 years, people are petrified about what happens to children yeah. while traveling. Yeah. So I'll say that much. That, that That's sort of there in the show. Uh, well, it's a boarding school. So yeah. it's a little different. Oh, like you're stupidly. talking about a day school problem. <laughs> <laughs> How sweetly she slapped uh, me. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, moron. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I mean, you had it's your... somewhat in the same sub thing. Yeah, I know. But I get it. I the fear mean, factor of the... Sorry. So, no, I mean, it's it's it's... It's got, it's a fictional, um, you know, boarding school called Rise International or whatever. And then it's it's set a, in this gorgeous landscape of Uti and Kunur. And, you know, we shot in this stunning 900 acre property wow. called uh, Lawrence School Lovedale. I always Ooh, keep saying Lawrence no, School of Arabia. School, Lawrence School Lovedale. Are, I always keep saying Lawrence School of Arabia, yeah. That's a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I, I always have to check myself. Yeah. Lawrence School Lovedale. 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 It's an OT and it's called Lawrence School Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, so... Missing geography teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 900 acres. 900. Stunning. I mean, just as a... Uh, just as an aside. Sort of forestry you have to, country. Foresty, sort of hilly, everything, wow. all things gorgeous, beautiful, and so yeah. So basically, you know, uh, coming back to the story, it's it's really gritty. It's really kind of it. It comes up. It brings up some really inconvenient, uncomfortable truths and things that, you know, we don't really like to discuss and talk about as adults or with kids. Sometimes you just kind of like hush them and you tell them to, you know, get over it and forget about it. And I think we kind of live in a society which doesn't really encourage uh, uncomfortable also, the role of counsellors uh, today, yeah. being a parent and all that, yeah. it's like a serious role now. Well, yeah. when we were growing up, they had a token, somebody who would help with issues or whatever. And I can't You remember. did? There was I, there was, was no one like, it was called something else. I can't even there remember. There were career counselors around, yeah. But later, like I have never. So, no, there in was my this one lady, school. a very nice lady, even all that. But I can't. There was one boy who you know he stabbed one boy with a divider or something. What? That was the only incident. You know, kids fight. Yeah. You know, yeah. A little bit too much when you use yeah. the divider. So that was, was it. You <laughs> did you stab someone? I'm more likely to be stabbed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, yeah, silver with the mats. Yeah, no, they had a fight, and then that this guy yeah. reached out. It was a bit too much. Now you take a weapon. Cut a long story okay. short. So the, that was the only time we remember this person was there because then the boy had to go and meet her, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But oh. today, yeah, it, it's uh, firstly a lot of people would go. Yeah, it's a very healthy thing to go. Yeah, I think it's important. I feel like emotional hygiene is extremely important in the way. Liko, liko, beta. Yeah. Liko, <laughs> emotional hygiene. <laughs> Personal hygiene ki baat it's very important. Let's start with emotional hygiene. <laughs> I feel it's important, yeah, because you know, like the complexities we all live with and the kids, the way they grow up, uh, you know, our parents were, I think, very simple parents also and mm. they led slightly more role-specific lives mm. in the sense that, you know, my father was in the army, he went to work, my mom, you know, was a stay-at-home mom, she looked after us. Mm. We led slightly simpler lives, very Clearly. Nowadays, the kids have to deal with a lot more. Uh, you have working parents, absent parents at many, many times, you know. And uh, my sister actually incidentally was a student counsellor. Oh. And I, I have seen the kind of challenges she faced as an adult dealing with uh, you know the the issues that would come up with the kids and things, so it's not an easy job. It's so she be critical about this. She oh. will be watching it closely in that sense, but I mean the the focus is not about what I do in the show as much as it it is about what I'm doing in the story and you know what Fair happens enough. and yeah. you kind of travel with Nandita as the story unravels and you know as you discover. Uh, what's going on with the students and you know she kind of discovers everything as the audience discovers it so it's a bit like that so one last thing I'll ask is again we don't give away the story yes are you sort of unraveling it are we getting the unraveling of the situation through your eyes is that how it is yeah I mean you kind of 
you kind of see what happens by the end as she discovers it okay so the final clincher and you know the final uh, moment of realization happens with her it's like it's a bit like that he went to boarding school silvery oh mm-hmm. where yeah uh, uh, panjgani uh, 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 panjgani uh, school of arabia Why did I do this? Yeah. yeah. No, but but he, I, I think uh, because so, now you don't have parents and friends and all close by. We also so. used to at night, dumb kids that we were, we used to yeah. hate our mess food because mess food is famously terrible everywhere, right? Mm. Uh, so we would jump out from the boundary wall of our school okay. and then go just eat at the market and come back. But little kids. Uh, Who paid for this? <laughs> like we had money from home and all that. Wow! So rich kids only in this girl. I mean, yeah, these guys are paying the bomb. Boarding kids are rich school. only. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My my yeah. wife is a boarding school product. Oh, Rishi okay. Valley. Oh wow! They, they, they had all open classes and no exams. Beautiful. That's yeah. I have heard great things. They all failed in the 10th standard <laughs> because they had no idea about the exam yeah. concept. Yeah. Even today, you know, she's not the smartest person, uh, Nimbu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of find it nice when people call me that. I feel like I'm at I like, home. I like. That. I think it's lovely. I know. Yeah. Also, kills the star bit a bit. You know, then we can talk to you more normally. Others, it was yeah, I love it. You know, she's a big name and all that. No, no, please, space. God, no. Yeah. Just so now you come back to we're all in the classroom. We all have yeah. silly names, and it's all of good. course it's yeah. lovely. Yeah. It should be encouraged as work culture, don't you think? But Punjabis, we should be on nicknames. This is my advice: when you give the pet name, remember they're going to grow up. <laughs> 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 you have a six yeah. foot five inch pinky, you know. Yeah. It's just work, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so cute actually. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. But let's yes. now before we get into your career, anything else about uh, uh, the show that we need to talk about? Uh, what are, who are the other actors? Anybody interested? There's Amir Bashir. There's uh, Sonali Kulkarni. Oh, there's wow. Geetika Vidya, a whole bunch of super talented kids. Are they very kids, competitive? Try to steal lines and all that. No, yeah, they they were very very nice. They were a whole like they were just so lovely to be around. You got to really get together and sort of enjoy each other's company. <laughs> we just stuck for a long time, right? Shooting no, actually, I was in and out, and I really loved working there because Uti mm. and Kunur is so stunning. Have you ever been? Mm. You should. I've been to Uti. I've not been to Kunur. Oh, it's Kunur gorgeous. Kunur, I'm told, is like all of that. Yeah. I don't know how long back you went, but like. It's okay. gorgeous. It was a Mithunda called me for an audition. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I am not a disco dancer. It went bad from there. Yeah. No, he's a superstar there. Huh? He's got hotels yeah. and this and that. He owns and half of the place. I, think. I, I didn't know that. It was such a big revelation yeah. to me. The one and, one hotel they told me that ये वाला table देखिए ये उन्होंने उस time पे चार लाख का खरीदा था और अभी इसका value बताओ. And I said, अरे I don't know what do I do. What is it? Pata nahi. Some like we could have just lagged out now. Like, Nimbu oh, we had them. Everybody wanted to the answer. <laughs> Indians are very about kima. It's very important. Yeah, it's four crores. Now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chalo, we'll say that. Yeah. It's a good rumor to, yeah. to spread. Yeah. We just talked to Avinash Arun, the director oh. of the show. Oh, okay. Uh, on one of our other shows. Wait, pop rap. What are you talking about? You're hijacking my show. <laughs> no, I never spoke to Avinash Arun. It was a very cool conversation. First, why does he have two first names? Bihari. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He talked to us about the the art of uh, direction and writing, mm. and how he uh, how he and the writers of the show came up with the idea of the show, and they went to T. Is like he a boarding school boy? No, no, he's not. He's a day scholar. Yeah. The, one of the writers is a boarding school. Guy. Yeah, there's yeah. got to be some because yeah, that's yeah. a whole yeah. new breed, yeah. no? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They have their own world, you know. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's like a very mysterious kind of a world, and they're the they're the cool kids, you know. I, they were also infamous for stealing our tiffins, yeah. They used really? to steal our food, yeah. Because they used to always their eyes used to be on what are they getting from home. Hmm. Like I went to one school yeah. where there were borders as well. They that, were always looking at. That's what, a fair thing, you know, because yeah. you guys can keep getting different food and coming in there stuck there with tucka or whatever. What what is it? Tucka, tucka, tucka. Hundred rupees tuck yeah. every week. Yeah. 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 Marathi means there. Tucka, <laughs> <laughs> tucka. <laughs> Just a bit confusing again. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So let's move on now yeah. from the boarding school. Let's go back to the life. And yes. how did it all start? I mean, I read your fabulous story. I don't know if you want to talk about it, but you know what your dad did. I mean, that's just fantastic. And that's just a sort of bar. When you come yeah. from that kind of family. No, my father was actually from really humble means himself. He's mm-hmm. a, he was the son of a farmer and somebody. I mean, my my dad, Ji, my grandfather was also in the army, but he was a foot soldier. So he's actually fought. Um, I think one in one of the world wars he was there as wow second world war second world war yeah, yeah. Wow. and then ah uh, yeah so you know he was um he grew up like that and so he was a son of the soil and you know um joined the army and then in ninety four we lost him in in Kashmir and uh, then you know life was just very very different but I've had the most how old were you ninety four oh 
Sorry, okay, okay. Just vaguely. No. So you were young girl. No, yeah. no, I was 11. I yeah. was 11. There's no... Well, that's a horrible age actually to suddenly have, yeah. have all this happening. And then you had to move from uh, location yes. as well. Yeah. yeah, we had to leave everything as we knew it. I mm. mean, we left our army life. We left everything, everything. Um, and then, you know, we settled in Noida and uh, with my nana nani and... Um, there on you know i actually you know what was very weird like in a, as a very very young uh, mind my observation was that who are these people who don't wear uniforms you know for for me i i all the kids, you won't see any <laughs> and you know like for kids yeah. uh, you know the kids parents none of them wore uniforms mm. the fathers were all in in civil uh, clothing and i was like what is this what is this mm. place because i had only seen cantonments and for me that was that mm. so that was a big culture shock So I've kind of grown up all over the place, you know. So that's probably why you find so many army kids in the business, you know. Yeah, because I keep we have uh, whatever <laughs> army kids I've known, you know. I mean, uh, there's quite a few actually in the business, as you say. They get a well well-rounded Indian pan-India sort of background. Mm-hmm. You'll be surprised that maybe North Indian kid who speaks Tamil and all well. You oh, think, really? They really? No, because they've wow. been placed everywhere for five, five yeah. years to two years. So they pick up the culture of the country better in a sense. Yeah, Holistic you're also culture. exposed to a lot yeah, of different. Yeah, exposed is the word. Yeah. Thanks for helping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was yeah. in Patiala, Arunachal. Wow. Uh, Arunachal was like Patiala to Arunachal yeah, firstly. Yeah. That's yeah, like one end to the other. Then. uh back to then i was in pune then bathinda then back to patiala and then finally noida wow yeah all over yeah Great. yeah so i don't know i'm not happy with the noida placement the rest of us <laughs> <laughs> hey it's no, nice no, no, okay no, no, no. <laughs> actually we were shooting in delhi we we'll, would we'll call it still delhi in a sense because of the tri state area whatever it is uh, early days in the 90s everything was noida Yeah. All the shooting was in Delhi, yeah, was Noida, city. film city, whatever. So yeah. we we would always spend one and a half hours going and one and a half hours coming yeah. all the time. It's oh my god, ridiculous! Yeah, yeah. But it's not my show. I shouldn't talk about myself. It's Nimbu's show. <laughs> Does anybody in the business call you that? No, I now mean some will. friends, very close <laughs> friends of mine. But yeah, yeah, now they will. I hope so. Antariksh has decided. I mean, I'm just saying. W- now w- know. Would you, if, if a fan <laughs> calls you that, would you be like offended or you? No, okay? I'll be yeah. very happy. Yeah, I'll oh, be so happy. Yeah, I think it's a, it's yeah. a great thing. Yeah. So fans, if you're out there, it's Nimbu from now on. Whenever you meet anyone, I'll grab a <laughs> selfie. All right. So yeah. then, how did the acting thing start? So you're a young girl now yeah. in a new city and yes. sort of new friends and all that. And new friends and all. Where did the acting bug come from? So you know, the, I think <clears throat> with me, what happens happened was that you know I was changing schools and all of that. I had no childhood friends. You know. I felt very bad because of by, the movements. Because the movements, you have no childhood that friends. That is a sad. Every two or three situation. years, it's it's just strange, and Most you realize. Point Facebook, Facebook, or whatever. What is Coach it? Coach, no, no. So you don't even stay what in touch. Facebook, you yeah. know, it wasn't even. In like, our time, Nimbu, there was no IT. <laughs> <laughs> it was damn hard, yar. On the typewriter, I used to put down my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. No, so. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you Where said it. That? I don't know why you said it. You're so much younger than me. Should I tell you how much younger? You're Fair. about thirteen, uh, fourteen years younger than me. That's a lot. This whole generation. I mean, because yeah. the technology, you know, kept changing so true, much. True. And all of that. Yeah. No, but, but this is so you don't have any contacts with so many people as as you. Well, I, I just don't. I know one one person from one one school, but I don't but know. But now they'll they all are. be shouting. I know her. I grew up with her. She was my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'll do that once you become famous. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe men, not. Men do it all the time. I when I go to Delhi, everybody tells me I grew up with Virat, yar. Oh, everybody, everybody says things. Everybody's grown up with Virat. Everybody has played under nineteen cricket. Everybody, you know, whatever. In Bombay, they'll tell you oh, Johnny Bravo was in my class. All this nonsense, yes. <laughs> We've not got the acting point here yet. How does yes. the acting? I want to know if there's an acting thing before the professional stuff. So was there anything in school? College? Yeah, like Lux ad impersonations in the house, like all of that. You know, I the grew up on thing. Madhuri yeah, Dixit yeah, and yeah. Sri Devi, and I was Did so. People tell you you're very pretty. You should try your. Luck Nobody told me that. Yeah. No. No one told me that. No idea. I tell you, you don't have to talk about it. I'm girls, yeah. telling you, yeah. Hmm. I should have grown up in Bombay. Bombay. I'm jealous of you guys. You know. Are you a good driver? Yeah, yeah. I'm an ace driver. Like as in fast, fast, or like just good control. Fast, but in control, and I like my SUVs. I'm a very good. Oh, you're a I'm, top. A, I'm an easy. This is Rani Unia properly. Yeah, yeah, I'm a proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper, proper, <laughs> uh-huh. proper Sudarni. Yeah. Can you drive proper manual? Yeah. Huh? Absolutely. W- which is the hardest, most tagra car that you uh, or Jeep? Hardest tagra car, Bolero. Oh, For a bad. shoot. Not bad. For a shoot In recently. Shoot. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Because I'm playing an uh, uh, army officer. I'm saying a police officer, uh-huh. and she has a manual wala Bolero. And it'll be take after take, so you have to keep doing that. Ha uh-huh. ha! You have yeah. to go up hill, down hill, all that, all that maneuvers. Which is never used now. In the end, they make you shoot so much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much they'll keep. I've all at least, least for BTS. Uh, for BTS. So at least it? I can show. Or, I I only drove. Or they just want to sell the. Car. I do my own stunts. 
No, this is Nimrat Kaur drove this car, so you can get more purchase on it later. <laughs> These guys are very creepy. Be They're very careful who you deal with. That. IBM, we are very, we are very good that way, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So you were doing these Lux ads and over so yeah, yeah. Listen, I I was never allowed to watch TV just to Why? let you know because my father said that you know you should go out and play. So then when oh, we were in fine. yeah, I mean he was like you know it's a waste of time mm. not because it was like gonna corrupt me or anything like that. What uh, was on TV in the nineties? <laughs> <laughs> there was Chitrahar. Ah, Chitra. Excuse oh, wow. me. Give me five. Yeah, man. There I feel like crying Chitrahar. when I hear programs that I grew Krishi up with. There was Krishi Darshan. I yeah. used to love Krishi Darshan. Yeah. I used to love. Today, bhindi will be eating. And you know, like, and my father used to like grow our vegetables and all in the kitchen garden. Hmm. So I used to be very involved in all those activities. I was a total outdoor kid. There you go. So basically, what was your favorite sport? Sport. I never played sport, but I was a sprinter. Fast. ஆமாட்டியும் <laughs> 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 Yeah. Not Nimbu. Not Nimbu. Nimbu. Oh, they won't call you that in school? <laughs> I mean, no. Because it was embarrassing at the time. You see, now I find it cute and mm. all that. At that time, I was like, I'm Nimrat, of course. Mm. Mm. So, I, that was a nice way to make friends. So, I was always on stage, debating this, that, the other. And then that kind of, you know, it was a love that kept developing over time. And mm. then when I came to college, uh, I went to Sri Ram College of Commerce in your North Campus. Lady Sri Ram? No, Sri Ram College okay. of Commerce, SRCC. It's related to Lady Sri Ram. It's the brother college, as go. we're called. Oh, he can't be called Lady, na? he's a brother. Uncle hai ya nahi? The guy's not a brother's head. So SRCC I went to. And then, so you know when I was doing my graduation, na, when you come to class, mm. you guys have like FI, yeah, FI, FIJC JC, and SIJC. all that. All that. I mean, I don't know so what we have 11th and 12th standard in yeah. Delhi. <clears throat> so at, at that point, you have to decide what to do. Mm. So I had a choice of doing my uh, engineering or architecture or BCom honors. So it was it was down to like how many years am I going to spend studying? Five, four, three, three. Three mm. goes of course, B com honors. So that was that. What do you do with B com? I got a degree. I know, but there's so many B com people that's don't it. even have work after thirty years. Like my they friends. They all watch our movies, no, no. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> if that's work, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did architecture for five years, and what are you doing? This is not your show. Uh, it's about her. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, this like, the three options, right? I don't get it. Like five years, yeah. yeah. So I, 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 I cleared my SPA and all this yeah, well. school hmm. of planning and architecture. So I'm just letting you know. You're I was upsetting quite... him. Did you clear oh. your SPA? Yeah. Huh? yeah. So no, you couldn't have. Why? I just have a feeling. What? <laughs> this is like race, this is like racism. She's looking at you and saying, "Bata, there is no such thing. There is no such thing. She's dismissed you." <laughs> Where did you go? Uh, I was I did Kamla Raisa Jhoo me. Yeah, but not like SPA. <laughs> yeah, not SPA. Of course. So you not done the SPA? No, no. Oh, SPA School of Planning and Architecture. Yeah. No, no. no, no. Oh, yeah. So why that's the most prestigious, yeah. is it? That is that is. It's in Delhi. I don't yeah. know about Bombay. And Raheja is how? It is the considered the best college of architecture. Raheja yeah. because you all already own flats with the Raheja builders, huh? so that's yeah, why you're correct. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, they got me very rich, huh? Oh really? You're looking for a financier to finance some films. No. This is the guy you talk to. No, no, no. Yeah. He only wants to be in the middle of the movie. Just let him have a small part. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, sure. <laughs> Silent. Okay. I don't know if we have to go into break, but I want to get into right. Homeland for. But before you know, tell yes. us how it began, though. So yeah, I yeah. well, uh, I never quite got to it, right? So yeah. so yeah, so after college, I just wanted to like not study anymore. I was done. Mm. And then I told my mom, I said, you know, I'm going to try and go to Bombay and see mm. what I can do. And before I went to college, I did some acting course with Barry John, ah. in Film City, like a month month long thing. The film City in Bombay. In, in in Noida 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 film yeah. city. But she's saying film city. I'm a regionalist. <laughs> <laughs> so I went there and I did like a month and then after that I um, decided after college that you know that I'll give Bombay like six months mm. and then I'll figure it out and I'll see if Mom I can. Mom was okay with all this. She was very afraid. Yeah. She was very scared. She was like was you know we don't know here? anyone. We had some relatives here, but you know it didn't mean that we knew anyone in the film business. Mm. So it was very daunting. It was very scary. So where did you stay and stuff? 
uh, with my relative okay, for so a bit. A home. Yeah, yeah, I had a place to stay in. Thank God. Well, how does, for five, six this months. This is very interesting. So then what happens because you're, you don't have any contacts. No, you don't. And who the hell, how do you... You know, in internet cyber cafes yeah. and all. So I used to like, re- like research online about production houses. I used to see, okay, who's doing what. Mm. I want to, mm. like for instance, I used to love Pradeep Sarkar's, late Pradeep Sarkar's yeah, videos yeah. and all. So I saw, okay, he has a production house called Apocalypse. Apocalypse, was it? Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> I used to like figure it out. Okay, these addresses, famous studios. Mm. Okay, this place. Okay, that place. So, I actually got some pictures clicked from a family friend in Noida. Mm. And then I, you know, back then we used to put stickers behind. Yeah, with the pictures, name and address. Name, and, and, name yeah. and phone number. Correct. Name, age, height, phone number types. Mm. So, then you kind of circulate those pictures around to all the production houses and all of that. And uh, that's it, yeah. I did like, I went about it in a very academic way. Yeah, Literally. but this is like a one in a million shot, what you're saying. No? Because all but then people, what else? What else? That's what I want to know. So like, how did you land the first role? Because this is like okay. everybody trying. And yeah. So how like, you, I how do you get noticed? Because they don't know who you are. No, you're yeah, absolutely right. On their... You take, you give whatever auditions come your way and slowly you meet coordinators. I met Vidya Balan. You know, when she I went to Apocalypse. No. She was working with Pradeep Dada at the time. She yeah, was prepping she for was, Parinita. Oh, she was working as an actress? because Parinita, right? Yeah. Huh. So she was working with, uh, uh, she was working with him. Yeah, like, you yeah. know, she was doing um, uh, ads and mm-hmm. music videos and things. And she was so sweet. She met me at that, there was an office uh, and, you know, I met her there and she was like, oh, you know, where are you from? And I said, oh, I'm from Delhi. And she's like, are you okay? Are you all right? So I said, yeah, yeah. She's like, you know anyone here? So I said, no. So she said, okay, listen, you meet me, okay? I'm doing some ad somewhere and you come and meet me there, I'll give you some names. Mm. And then she gave me my first list of names and numbers of coordinators and things that I could contact. So straight away, because you know her, that helps a little bit because she's already slightly known. So Vidya, thank you so much for that. Literally, she spoke to me cold, like she didn't know who I was. She just empathized as a young girl. Yeah, she was just so nice. Find a feat. So then I kind of like made some calls and, you know, went to those people and gave a million auditions. Are there any people you remember who rejected you? Who we can now I don't remember them, yeah. The uh, problem is... Gali ready? <laughs> Load the galis. Uh, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me the name first, no? No, but it doesn't work only like that. Because sure. I... Uh, the problem is that I don't remember people, you know, who... Uh, so long back now, what, yeah, what to say. No famous names or famous production house. There, uh, no, yeah. <laughs> Good thinking <laughs> Nimbo on the spot She's about to tell us yeah, yeah. Silvery have you behaved like this with ladies? Never No? I would never You're a real charmer that yeah. No he's you. a nice guy No one's rejected him What? He's, he's got a very No one's rejected him I mean, yeah, Let's put that out there <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it out there Yeah. Why oh. are we taking his no, no, case? No. We go back a long yeah. way <laughs> No Sorry. rejection yeah. on through <laughs> He's a real rascal You don't have to protect him He oh. gives it back and more He's oh, a evil man he? Yeah yeah. Does it look the part? Yeah. He's very Cyrus. sweet also. He's got both sides to him. There's sweet and there's evil. He's like, he's like soup, sweet and sour. Both. Oh my there. God. Thanks. You're Tom Yum. Okay. That's great. Tom Yum. Yeah. Tom Yum. Nimbu. Yeah, correct. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's the new thing. Why do you call him Silvery? Yeah. Wow. What is Silvery? No, okay, fast. We're going to break, but I have to tell the story quickly. Yeah. So you understand, since you have a Punjabi background, you'll understand. Okay. It's very simple. Yes. The elder brother was called? Goldie. 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 Right. Oh! So, so the <laughs> fight, the runner-up position was Silvery because the fight with the parents was Silvery, yeah? Richie. Richie. Yeah. And it was this close and by one <laughs> second uh, Richie reached the thing yeah. and that became the name. And then for some so when reason, he told us, <laughs> yeah. I said, but Silvery and Goldie sound so much yeah. better. Why did they change that? Yeah. It's my oh. fault. I told Cyrus, you know, yeah. that, that's on me. So I get it. If, <laughs> he, on me. if he becomes yes. really famous one day, he's going to have the yeah. name Silvery. That's the name that yeah. people would know him by. Oh my when he, God. When you know, people will be shouting yeah. while he's, you know, performing somewhere. But Silvery! Yeah, they know. Imagine all the paps. Yeah. Silvery sir, Silvery sir. Yeah. Yeah, 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 all right. Silvery Star will be down south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Here in Mumbai, you don't know what they did now when those all those famous stars came to the launch. You don't know all that? Of course, no, yeah. Yeah. I enjoy all this so it's much. So, uh, on social media. Sometimes you don't realize it's how rude very they are, funny. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Calling people out. Hey, Idar, Idar, Dek, Idar, Dek. <laughs> Okay, Idar Dek, we have to take a break. <laughs> and then we'll come back. We have to talk about Homeland before we go to AMAs. Absolutely. Huh? And a little bit more. She's done lots of other work if we yeah. can squeeze it in. Take a break. Hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Saris says, Saris is joined by celebrity photographer Avinash Gowarikar. They talk about his career and how Amir and Salman Khan played a huge part in it. They also go head to head over their cricket knowledge of the West Indian squad of the early 80s, Sunil Gavaskar, Sachin Tendulkar, and many more legends. On a niche thing, Anish celebrates 50 episodes of his show. To mark this milestone episode, he takes us through some of the best conversations on the show so far. 
and on the habit coach ashdin shares how one can cultivate the habit of stillness when there is chaos in life once again don't forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcasts.com we have some exciting stuff for you follow us on social media we are ivm podcasts on twitter facebook instagram and linkedin if you like our shows please spread the word tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening You'll also find all our shows on youtube.com slash IVM podcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week, Cash Free Payments and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible. Okay, back here after the break. Lots to talk about. So many questions to ask. Like, how he much? did a makeup touch up, guys. I did a makeup touch up. Yeah. I got my beard touch up. Then. You got your beard touched by <laughs> yeah. three young women, which in some cultures is wrong. <laughs> yeah. But you know, we allowed it. Yeah. Punjab, we're fine. Don't yeah. worry. Punjab, Punjab is yeah. as long as you know. Bila <laughs> do. And everybody's fine. All good. Uh, let's get to the one question that everybody, uh, I was discussing with the boys in the morning. I only have male friends. Uh, oh, I get up very early. So hence, uh, long story. What? Uh, I get up at four four thirty. I heard I have male friends. I get up very early. No, because I keep saying that's male friends, and I suddenly say, "Why does this old man have male friends only?" But that's the way it is. <laughs> so I was discussing. I'm like, you know, Nimrat Kaur is coming, and so they all started talking. But they all jump straight into Homeland. Homeland, yeah. which is you know, it's just a big beast out there, top of the line show worldwide, yeah. etc. Yeah. And uh, we just did the research. I think eighteen or twenty episodes across four or five seasons, which is a lot. Eight seasons. Yeah. So I was in season four and eight. Four and eight. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's. How did how did that happen? Oh, it was crazy, man. So basically, uh, the lunchbox, as you know, you know, it kind of like huge just hit, yeah. huge hit. It had a huge footprint. Did you say in that the is world. the one that really sent you that the is my well, pretty much. Yeah, mm. it just changed everything for me. You know, I became like a name from just the Cadbury girl. Yeah. You know, like people knew my name. It right. was like that. The Cadbury girl has now got a lunchbox. This is yeah. complicated. <laughs> Can you remember what your first review was like uh, when you first read the review of Lunchbox? Because oh. it was such a amazing. Critical You're right. You know, I I wish I had a good answer for this because the first review came out in in Cannes. All right. You know when uh, the film uh, uh, screen was screened there ten years mm. ago now mm. actually, and uh, it was just a you know it was love. We got the we got the audience award. Uh, mm. The movie got that. And uh, it, it, people just you just love the film. I remember yeah. that. But while and making that film, because it's sort of low key, did you get yeah. a feeling it would be a big hit? Absolutely not. Yeah, that's. What I was. loved the script when I heard it. I didn't. I didn't know who else was going to do it, mm. but I knew that I wanted to be a part of it. And Ritesh was at that time, you know, looking for a new girl. Mm. He had written it for Irfan and Nawaz. Right. And I didn't know Nawaz would play the girl. <laughs> <laughs> In Parsi, Nawaz is very often a girl's name. So it was confusing, huh? <laughs> I mean, that would be a different. I'm track trying to think of a creative answer. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so you know, Ritesh then saw me in a couple of plays I was doing in Bombay, and then, uh, you know, uh, decided to go ahead with me and all of that good stuff. And then the film was shot in all of I think thirty or thirty one days. I did nine days of work only. Yeah, yeah. It was uh-huh. that small a film, mm. and uh, that was that. Yeah, I mean, you know, the film was then sold to uh, Sony Pictures and distributed in seventy five countries. And so, what happened was I was traveling with the film in in Europe, promoting it and all of that. Basically, just having a lovely time. Mm. And uh, the makers of Homeland had already cast for that part, and then. They saw the lunchbox and mm. they said, "I believe that she would make a great spy." So once they already had a, <laughs> they, but they already yeah. signed on somebody else. They had someone in in their mind for, and I think someone. And was this signed. is why Priyanka Chopra doesn't talk to you. I think you're spreading this now here. <laughs> Hoping to get some mileage. Out of this story, you know? If somebody picks oh it up, oh god! Uh, so this the, is gonna be. We like have our own right. podcast media, and they'll put it up and say, "Never <laughs> call rubbishes, Priyanka Chopra." <laughs> oh my god! From she doesn't talk to me to yeah, I yeah, rubbish. Yeah, whatever. Wow. It gets the translation it gets lost here completely. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. That's crazy. How so do that's I recover amazing. from so that? They, so they removed an already established talent, and uh, so she was an Iranian actress. So what an impact it had had basically for on on those. It was crazy. No, I I wonder, but like no, 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 no. So she was not on air already. She was uh-huh, like but, in mind but for in mind, them. They already cast this person, yes. and they removed her after well, seeing you. They said this is the they, girl. They they got me to test for them, audition mm-hmm. for them in London, where uh, you know I was I was in the I was in Slovenia in a film festival wow. really. And what then, a hard life. <laughs> no, no. I mean, at that time, yeah. you know, I was just traveling with the film. I know. So then I got to London. I didn't know what the hell Homeland was. Believe it or not. Are you not. serious? I had no idea. Hmm. And I landed there. My sister, my my cousin's sister, she lives in London. And I said, listen, you have to help me with all this, hmm. uh, you know, these scenes and all. I don't know what this is. She read the scene. She's like, why does it say Carrie Matheson? 
So I said because it's for something called Homeland. Hmm. She screamed and she was like, "What? Hmm. You're doing what?" She suddenly got pressure. You must have been so without yeah. pressure till then. Yeah. She was like, she went through the roof. She hmm. was like, "Are you crazy? You have to do this seriously and this and that." And the next day, I went and I tested for it, hmm. and that was that. And then I was in South Africa in a month shooting for Homeland in Cape Town for about a few months, four or five months, and that's when I actually watched it. So what's the difference with shooting with them and us? Is there any difference? So <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing, yar, beta? Waha pe dugna lagan de na parta. Acha, aisi baat hai. No, yeah, it's great fun. It's really good. Um, culturally, they're very different. You don't get chai on set, of course. That's the one oh, very that's, big that's difference. That's horrible, actually. No chai culture. Yeah. So what do they do? They, they coffee. Oh, coffee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but it's great fun. And you know, for me, I feel like I was always prepping for this life where you know you're just plucked. From here to there, and planted there, and then you know, just find your roots and figure yeah. it out and whatever. So I'm very chill when it comes to so meeting new people. So independent as an artist when you're abroad, is that it? You know, it becomes it's a it's a double edged sword. It's not easy because you you also feel very lonely and you're away from your fr- friends, family, and all Should of that. Should have called me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm available. Just to chat with. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, but it's really crazy. Like you know, like you kind of live like a local in a place, and you're they, what they call. it is actor relocation mm-hmm. because they know you're being relocated you're not just hired for a job you're just there for a bit you're there for four or five months so it's it's really a crazy life but it's really fun and i had no idea of how to navigate anything they didn't tell me what the following episodes going to be like and when you're working you don't really know whether you're going to live or die in the next episode mm. like as we were going on oh, you don't know the full no, track yeah. oh. no so you only know the, the track only of what the you're doing that day only the script of the current episode you you're saying? shooting yes that's actually quite good because, <laughs> so then like, actors are yeah, at their best yeah, behavior yeah, yeah. no <laughs> also God you're living the, you're, you're living the moment you can't live beyond the moment no. because so one know. one yeah. actress uh, i remember you know she had a meltdown because she was like I didn't know I was going to die. How sad. <laughs> yeah. So we all, we all we were all like you know trying to pass so it and everyone was like in the show like that they, and especially characters you're playing yeah. you're also insecure yeah, ki kal hoga ya nahi. But then you better be at your best behavior wow, they'll write yeah, your death scene. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> what, what about the accent and all that? Uh, so I never had to uh, train to, for an yeah. accent or anything because I was playing you know a South Asian person. Yeah. And uh, I, in fact, suggested to them that how about we introduce a little Punjabi into it, hmm. because all my uh, ancestors, whatever, they've all come from Pakistan. Correct. Yeah. So they all speak Punjabi. My nana used to write Ur- uh, Punjabi in Urdu. Wow. You see, yeah. and all of them used to do that. Actually, it was a very common practice. Hmm. So uh, they retained that, and you know, they kind of they were very open to those ideas and things. And a lot of the stuff in the show is actually my personal. things like the hijab i wear in it mm-hmm. it was my scarf and i said you know we should have a scarf with the blazer and the suit and all of that because but pakistani women like to cover the their head culture touch yeah. yeah you know so i i just it, they're so familiar you know we just so one body didn't have like a indian or pakistani creative person on it not really no they didn't this is like simpsons <laughs> just do anything then after that I mean, all controversy that follows you know, be careful <laughs> yeah even uh, seinfeld uh, yeah. aruba pal wrote a couple of scripts the ones where they come to india he 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 helped work on those yeah because you needed when you go to some other culture you need some guidance you no but just... i think they were smart about it like they mm-hmm. they had cast someone from India hmm. and they know culturally we are so close and yeah. they're very smart then they, they can cast Mio Silvery for example god knows <laughs> yeah. what culture would have come out <laughs> we'd been banned in america and india <laughs> living in poland <laughs> doing a small podcast <laughs> it's cold yeah all right oh my that's god. homeland so any more yes. work out there now um i'm actually uh, i've done a, a couple of episodes in foundation season 2 okay. on for apple tv so i got to work with a really cool actor called jared harris um he's from chernobyl and you know all of that good big stuff he's really one of the most incredible british actors uh really had a great time working on that so that's going to come out in july wow so you're basically everywhere and now there's like i mean i'm here and there everywhere i work wherever upset to having to travel all the time and go to it some gets place. It, it's not always easy hmm. sometimes you don't feel like packing and leaving and you know you just hmm. want to stay put and you know i'm a i'm actually a slave of routine and discipline That's and this what? and that and i like my I'm routine i'm exactly like that and i, I hate the it's opinion. not cool yeah. all the time it's not but then it's work you got to mm. go do you have to approach acting differently from say when you're acting in india yeah. versus when you're yes you do like you how, do. how, how i think uh, working abroad you have to be a little more understated 
Mm. Because you know, our we are very uh, expressive people. It's theatrical. Yeah, mm. I mean, theatrical or not, we are we are expressive with our way of speaking. Ah, hello, you know, are louder. Are... Hello, they just say no, what's I up. Don't, I don't say hello like that. Hello, <laughs> right? Come on, let's let's hear your hello. Let, let's have your hello in different scenarios. Hello, when you're in say back in Punjab, what would it be like? Oi, oi is hello. Yeah, oi, 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 oi. Yeah, what hello? Oh, no one's going to respond. No one to has hello. time for hello. Yeah. Time nahi hai. Yeah. People think you're always on the phone. So what's your, what's your hello in the West? In New York or whatever. Hi, how are you? You're flirting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what if it, if it was me? You'd never say hello like that. What if there's a, a poor Lebanese I cab driver? Oh if God. you start like that, the guy's like, Madam! Silence! You'll have me in trouble. What if you said hello? I swear. Play it again. Yeah. Play so again. that's West Coast for that's you. West Coast, is it? How are you? Oh, how are you? And East Coast? Punjabi again. <laughs> no, 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 he's not giving you anything more. This is Punjabi without the Punjabi. Yeah. That's, you know. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. What about Mumbai? <laughs> Mumbai don't greet. There's no greeting Mumbai. culture. Mumbai. Hmm. Mumbai is hey. Yeah. Mumbai is chill, oh, oh. na? Hey, what up? Very chill. Hey, what's up? <laughs> no, no, I don't know people you don't who talk like that. that. Huh? No, yeah. Hey, what's up? You know, who says that? <laughs> what's up? What's hey, up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? Yeah, what's up? You never said what's, what's up. Happening? Of course, you say. Oh. I don't say what's up. Oh. I say hey, what's up. Yeah. <laughs> I sometimes I sometimes say oh fuck because I don't know who the person is. <laughs> don't you ever say that when you don't remember who the person no. is? No. Sorry, you're in the podcast. In my mind, I would. Yeah, but you feel bad, no? Immediately, yeah. okay. So in your mind, you say that, right? Now I just get very loud. Yeah. When oh, I have to, to meet overcompensate. Some... Yeah. yeah. Hey, so nice yeah. to meet you. Me too. Me too. Me too. it would never have been there. Big hug. Just overwhelm them yeah. with like you know. So, all that, all that. So for those who know Nimbu out there, remember when you get this? It's because you're going to get more. It's true. I, I, yeah, I it's completely true. Uh, empathize with what you're saying. Absolutely. Because you have to overcompensate. Because of course you, because you have that to. Person gives a lot of love. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. True. All right. Uh, we'll we'll chat about uh, the show again. But before that, let's try the AMAs. That's absolutely. Let's get into the AMAs. These AMAs, AMAs, AMAs were sent to which us. are legit. Yeah, yeah, they're absolutely what legit. The hell? Why do you think the show is a fraudulent show? Yeah, we have uh, legit names of people who sent them. You can yeah. search yeah, on them yeah. if anyone is interested in doing that. Besides, why. when when we tell <laughs> them that we have someone like you coming on, there's lots of people. We have yeah. to cut it down. And, and, How nice. But there yeah. are some people who are, let's say, good in their profession, but nobody knows who they are. So then only their sister or mother write in and all that, and then that's different. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> are you trying to say something to me? No, I'm saying uh, Bollywood <laughs> actors, musicians, like that can, we get a lot of emails. Don't okay, worry. I yeah. got it. Absolutely. Okay. All so right. the first one comes from Dib- Dibinanda Brahma who says from Tera Mera Pyar album with Kumar Sanu to Airlift yeah. I have been a big fan oh. why have you never worked in any any uh, typical rom-com or typical masala movies because you were the OG national crush with your first album I mean Lunchbox wow. and all is great but <laughs> would have loved to see uh, loved seeing you in some commercial pot boilers as well How he's dished out Lunchbox by yeah. praising her yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's strange. Yeah, oh, that is strange, great. Yeah. But, no, a, but he, gets, he, he gets an American hello. Let's give him an American hello. How are you? Yeah, how are you? <laughs> no, I, I really appreciate all the love that because I hear that, you know, I hear this all the time. I really do that, you know, why didn't you do more movies at that time? Honestly, I just did not get the great kind of stuff at that time that I would have loved to do. Mm. It was a little bit like uh, not so tempting so I felt like rather than you know just coming in to do a film doing anything I did theatre I did a lot of plays at that time because I didn't know how to read a scene you know I would do all this hey what's up you know (laughs) (laughs) so so, so, she's pointing at me for bad acting did you notice that (laughs) you said in some time I'll get comfortable this is what happens when I got comfortable it's alright the moment you start teasing us we're we're on a we're on a good (laughs) wicket yeah yeah, yeah. good Good term so yeah so I I learned how to like just walk stand what to do with my hands when you're acting you know all that important Mm. basic stuff Mm. Anyway, I enjoyed doing a lot of theatre for five or six years um, in, you know, NCPA and Experimental and Prithvi and all over India, with? actually. Sunil Shanbag, oh. Manav Kaul, Akash okay, Khurana, huge, uh, huge. Vikram Kapadia. Very nice. Uh, all these lovely, fabulous people. Kwasar. Yeah. Uh, Thespo is where I started. There you go. That's oh. the second or third person who's a Thespoite. Yes, and I won an oh, award. Yeah. I'm so proud. Four? That Best was actress. my first. Yes. Wow. Uh, that what, was my what first award, guys. What? What? what, what uh, damages. Damages. And I play Abigail. That's a, a lawyer. That's a good name for our show. Can we? Abigail, can we? Take <laughs> <it>? <laughs> yeah. So that's that. So well, um, I've done a lot more work in the last year than I have in the previous years in India for sure. 
So you'll see a lot of stuff coming out. And uh, what's his name? What about National Crush? Uh, that's National crush. crush. I goodness. think that keeps changing. Now the nation is quite fickle like that. But that's fantastic. Somebody calls you <laughs> National Crush. I'm just thinking. It's very sweet. You know, but the Tera Tera Pyar, those videos, now yeah. they are so loved. Even yeah. today, yeah. people really love them. Also, Kumar Shanu is so dashing in that. So I think. <laughs> He's not he wasn't there. there. Wasn't You've not seen those videos. <laughs> <laughs> he sang the song. But how, how did that come about? How did you get involved with those So, uh, they were looking for a new face. Okay. And, uh, you know, like, because I was distributing my pictures and all of that. And Purva Asrani. Oh, so, you were unknown at that point when you did this? Absolutely. Wow. It was my first gig on TV. On, on, the, on camera. On a big thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. ever. Wow. I had never been on camera before. I didn't know what a set looked like. Of course, my heart broke when I actually saw what a set looked like. Was it? <laughs> because it's just, because it's yeah, just short, short. dust, yeah, yeah, yeah. wires, and a lot of that's people. So true. Guys, yeah, yeah. it's not pretty. People so I be... thought that's the backside. Yeah. I was like, this is all behind, all the go-down is going on. Where are you from? Yeah. 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 So so true. True. Especially yeah. you come a little early to the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This just looks no, like no, nothing. It's chaos. Yeah. Yeah. It's wow. mayhem. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah. That was my first time on camera mm -hmm. in life. And those music videos happened like, you know, just like they were looking for a new girl and Apoorva Asrani, who's a very acclaimed editor and director. Uh, he's done some fabulous work now. He, at that time, he directed those videos. Mm -hmm. And he was like... Did you oh, think, can I ask you something personal? Did you ever think you'd be such a big star? So you get so much <clears throat> love from different people, crossover, etc. Crossover, I never thought. Big star, I don't think of myself in that capacity. I'd like a to well -known think that... Well-known actress? Do you think you'd okay. become like well-known? Well, known? well uh, I always knew that something special will happen. I knew that. I've always been that child. Mm -hmm. I, I've always known that I I don't know what I'll do, but something special will happen. Somehow. Yes. I just don't know what. I wanted to be an astronaut. Something or the other. You know, like that. Like I had this special requirement from life. Astronaut? Ha ha. Wow. She's <laughs> <laughs> Why? And you're talking to Antariksh <laughs> and telling him yeah. that I can't be an astronaut. So sorry, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, now, now more are, than ever, you can yeah. be an astronaut, yeah. right? Like it had to happen. One jive about your name had to happen. Yeah. No, never mention your name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, it's unnecessary. So yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah like that. Yeah. So Tera Mera Pyar was really, really loved and thank you for the love. Really, Absolutely. I really love it. Yeah. I think national Please watch them. No, but to put you in a national icon status, especially as a you know the national, yeah. a face of the country for even a certain period of time. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's like Zina Daman, you know, Parveen Babi. Wow. I mean that's... Rekha, you know, from my generation, I think. And then you know, uh, names that I don't know after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, that pantheon of the greats, you know, for oh, wow. That's yeah. something. That's yeah. something. Absolutely. It's lovely. Yeah. Next one comes from Manish who says, Did you ever wonder what happened to Ilan Sajan after the movie ended? After yeah. uh, Lunchbox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always knew they met. Dinner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, in my mind, they went to Bhutan together yeah. and they opened a dhaba. Sweet. See, I'm from Punjab. Dhaba has, food has to be there. Yeah, okay. Completely. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on. Yeah. Think yeah. about it. Although, Bhutan is can beautiful I country. To you two Punjabis. I've never been. Punjab is largely vegetarian. And wherever I travel, <laughs> I've traveled the roads, I mean, everywhere across uh, on road in Punjab. And mostly it's, it's tough to get non-veg very often. Really? It's not that easy. No, it's, it's like, I mean, we're not into red meat there yeah. that much. But no, yeah, butter chicken, chicken is not there. But every, even our every, west food is excellent. No, it's yeah. excellent. Yeah. But I'm just saying, is, we've got a wrong uh, thing about Punjab that everybody eats meat. So, mm. like, your home will have the regular curries and all, right? If you want meat, Bahar, come, you'll yeah. get all the. Come, come to my state, all. come to Iran. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, Sarah Padri has asked, firstly, what is the ethnicity of Rebecca Yedlin? Secondly, your Are filmography you? has thrilling works like Homeland, Airlift, Wayward Pines, The Test Case, and now School of Lies. Is your natural affinity towards this kind of content making an unintended theme to your work? My God. He's actually done a proper study on but my... But sounds great. I mean, Rebecca yeah. Yedlin had to think of what I've, what when I've played. Yeah, that so might happen. Pines. You might forget actually characters and all that. Uh, yeah, for a brief moment, you sometimes yeah. forget. Oh, so what is, is the ethnicity? Uh, it was actually culturally ambiguous, I was told. Oh. Because I, I was told not to change my accent. So I said, do I have to change my accent? They said, no, you're fine. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So I don't know what a Yedlin is. What is a Yedlin? Probably somewhere Eastern Europe, I would think. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. My God, I have no I mean, idea. Like, Good Czech, question, Czech really. Like I'm, Stalin, I'm, I was saying Yeltsin. That sounds, <laughs> sounds a little bit like that. I don't know, I'm just saying. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> so no. this is from a science fiction show I did called Wayward Pines. I filmed oh. it in Vancouver and uh, British Columbia. One of the right. best, best, most Vancouver, capital of Punjab. <laughs> 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 Gotta give that to you. <laughs> and within that, Surrey. Yeah, wow. Surrey is the place. Is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
God. That's where all the pend is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I, so, I think right now in Canada, if I'm not mistaken, the defense minister and a couple of the top cabinet ministers yes, are Punjabi. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sikh, they're Sikh. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so you know, there's no theme or there's no intended kind of a uh, you know like selection process. I just listen to something. I and if I feel like I I would love to watch it. Does uh, anybody else uh, help you with the decision, like your mom or a manager or just you? No, I consult with some friends. Not definitely not my mama. She has no Why? idea. Why? Because she does does she's too simple. Yeah. She still wants you to. She's too Do simple. Else. <laughs> she do- <laughs> no. thinks the beta is a failure. No, Why no, is no. she doing all this? Who cares for the Mercedes? <laughs> <laughs> Range Rover. In Range Rover, is it? Uh, oh. Just saying. Uh, 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 wow. <laughs> I told you I like you my SUVs. You send private? Only on Sundays. No, that's fair. But you do drive the car. Of it's course. It's a big car, Range Rover. Oh my God. Yeah. What a delight it is. Yeah. I try, love it. Try and park it in South Mumbai. Chancey nahi. Chancey nahi. You won't even get it back. <laughs> He'll have a red light on it. He'll go back with a red light mirror. Red light on it. The VIP is movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, next one is Rohit Atre who says, in all your interviews, uh, you share your love for traveling. Which is your favorite slash most frequented destination in India and abroad? Would you believe that it's Mulshi? I love going to Mulshi. I drive to Mulshi and I stay put there. There's a place I visit there, uh, and I actually spent my second lockdown there because I didn't for so, months. Yeah, yeah, I was there for three months. So what happened was that I was shooting Dasvi, mm. uh, mm. and I had put on a like a whole lot of weight for that movie. I'd put on some 15 kilos for it. Really? Really? Mm. For real? It. 15 kilos? Well, no. because it's gone now, but it I How had. How did it go? Over a period of time. It Are you took, comfortable? I can't believe it was so, so difficult. For a, really? Yeah, I wouldn't do it again. You, it was so hard. Yeah, it was hard. I ate and ate and ate, and then I was there a difference in the way people looked at you, you know, when you became a little fatter. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was very weird actually because you know, look, I mean, it's all. I know I'm doing it for work, but sometimes people would just make some stray, unsolicited comments, be like. Oh my God! Why are you having the dessert? Or you know, like some weird. Uh, and I was uh, just like, you know what? Mean, I, I'm right? paying for it. Yeah. I mean, I, unless yeah. I asked you to pay for it, it's my my business. So yeah. you know, so it, that was an interesting kind of an observation. Like everybody makes it their business to talk about. Do men uh, uh, treat you better or worse when you? No, so, I don't think it's a men or women thing. It's no a person standards. thing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I'm like, a girl is also, right? Who's going to look beyond that, yeah? <laughs> Especially as you're aging, huh? <laughs> Wow. No, so so, 35 pounds up. That's huge. Yeah, that was huge. Yeah, literally. literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so the thing was that you know the film shoot got uh, halted in the middle because of lockdown. I was left with three days of work, and mm. I didn't know when it was going to happen. Mm. So I didn't want to stay in Bombay. I literally landed from Lucknow alone. Alone. Where? No, I said you went to uh, uh, to this Mulshi place ha, Mulshi. Uh, alone. Yeah, yeah, all by For myself. For three months or whatever, alone. Alone, all by Scary. myself. I mean, in the all, sense, all, not scary. I was self. in a facility. Yeah, me and a lot of me. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So anyway, the point is that I love this place. I think it's gorgeous. And what I love is that you just have to drive a little bit outside Bombay, mm-hmm. and you're in heaven. And in the rains, it's otherworldly. It's so pretty. I would like heaven to be a place where there are less people. So first, that's I would basically like, nowhere. No, I know that's it's nowhere. Yeah. So even, everywhere even there, Mulchi, there's, there's people everywhere. People. Yeah. yeah, and you're like a, a person they'll recognize. So then you'll never even get like you know that self. Uh, oh, uh, depends, depends. Sometimes I'm very quick, and it's very easy to blend in. Also, it's really? not that high. Yeah, yeah. You change the hello. I don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this is your go-to place, is it? Even now. Yeah, so, if I have a little time, so I just dash off and I go and spend so four just days. Just take it further. So, what would you do then if you were alone in the lockdown and there's so nobody with you? So, in that place, there's like a there? routine. No, oh. no, there was no Zoom and all. Oh, so then. So there was a nice routine. I did my yoga. I did my like. Uh, it's like a like a facility, like a retreat kind of. Like a, place. a vipassana thingy or something. No, no, no vipassana. Please, I can't I'm stay quiet. I'm big on vipassana. Why? Apparently, you can't talk for months and all that. <laughs> You're big so, on it. I love that. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, hello, hello, Zuli. <laughs> no, you can't do anything. Ca- you can't. Even, you can't even look at. There people. is no eye contact for five oh, seconds. Wow. But I do have. A, <laughs> I do have a vipassana badge. Meaning? Which I use when I don't want to talk to people. 